Ms. Griffith, does the DA's office care to speculate on the outcome of the Montgomery trial? With the arrest of Carly Tenney as an accessory, we're confident that the jury will hand down a guilty verdict. In light of Barbara Ryan's injuries, what kind of sense will the DA's office ask for? Well, let's get Mr. Montgomery convicted of attempted murder first, and then we'll see about sentencing. Thank you, Ms. Griffith. Thank you. Jessica. Margo? I thought I would have at least gotten a call back from you last night. The taxpayer's money is invested in my getting a conviction right now. That's all I'm focusing on. It is possible that this guy, O Endeavor, could have information bearing on the case. So, is the DA going to issue a warrant? No, not today. Why on earth wouldn't you? I read the file, Margo. I'm not going to waste valuable police resources picking up somebody who has no probable cause. Nut jobs who are on Thorazine to keep them from destroying the immediate world don't have to have rational motives. At the very least, you could put him in a lineup to see if Emily Stewart could ID him as the guy who attacked her. That incident has nothing to do with this case. You had me bring in Carly Tenney on less evidence that I brought you on Owen Dever. Carly Tenney's motives are clear. That photo is evidence of a strong and not very healthy connection to Greg. Now, you can stand there and argue that she couldn't be an accessory before the fact. No, I'm sorry, Margo, as much as you don't like it. There is no other guy who committed this crime. The jury is going to hand down a guilty verdict. Because they don't have the facts. But hey, if you can frame Craig Montgomery to get another notch in your conviction belt, why not, huh? Excuse me, Margo, but presenting the state's case takes preparation. Well, thanks for less than nothing. Good morning, Margo. Oh, well, I guess <laughs> manners are in short supply at the Oakdale PD this morning. I'm sure she's worried sick about Craig, Mother. Ah, uh, if she only were the only one. But no, 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 you must take the giant step and testify in this monster's defense. Well, somebody needs to stand up for her, Mother. He didn't do it. I don't know, darling. Is it the sex? Oh. Is that what you makes know, you so blind? Didn't we have a deal? Didn't you promise that you would keep your mouth shut about Craig? You know, I should have known better. You know, you too. You sound like a couple of Jersey mud wrestlers. Could you not do this here? Jersey mud wrestlers? Uh -huh. Anyway, it doesn't matter what Sierra says. It doesn't matter the case that the DA has laid out. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. Nothing you say will turn the tide for Craig. Well, then I'll just have to pray that some progress is made outside the courtroom. It's all up to Hal Munson now. Maybe he can succeed where I can't. Yeah. Mm. Oh, hi. Uh, excuse me. Uh, we're friends of Julia Snyder's. I was wondering how we can get in to see her. Yeah, hi. I'm, I'm Emily Stewart. I don't know if you remember me, but Julia and I are close personal friends. I was here about a month ago. Maybe you remember. I'm sorry. Julia isn't seeing anyone. What? Not anybody? I mean, isolating yourself like that can't be good for her, right? Oh, um, hello. Is there a problem here? It's all right. Annette, I'll handle this. What can I do for you? Dr. Michaels, it's been so long since I saw you, I wasn't sure if you'd remember me. I've thought of you often with all the news about Barbara. How's she doing? Well, it's, it's, it's been pretty rough. Listen, I'm so glad you're here because I, Emily and I, oh, I'm sorry, this is Emily Hi, Stewart. Hi, Emily Stewart, nice to see you again. I'm, we're actually here to see Juliet. She's a very good friend of, of both of ours and we were hoping we could see her. I'm sorry, that's not gonna be possible. Come on, somebody! You know, I have a child who will not know where his mother is. I haven't even gotten to speak to a lawyer. Yell any louder and the guys over in the drunk tank are gonna start screaming things you really don't want to hear. Well, at least they got some sleep. By the time the hookers in the next cell finished their 18th round of canasta, it was like 5 in the morning and then they were bailed out. I, however, am still here and getting very hoarse. Where's a good tin cup when you need one? Did your phone call yet? Well, a lot of good it did me. Tom Hughes has been in court all morning. And I can't be arraigned without a lawyer. Yeah, well, that's why I wanted to come down here. Cass Winthrop called. Said he got held up, but he's on his way. Cass? Jack. If Craig... If Craig did this, he did this alone, okay? I had nothing to do with it. You told me that you know that I'm an I also told you I didn't want to get into it. Not here, not now. But, Jack... How are you holding up? <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah, I thrive on two hours sleep. Actually, it's... Reminds me a bit of Hong Kong. 
like Winston is here, watching every move I make, locking the doors and the windows, tearing me away from everybody I love. Carly. Carly! The JCPenney hottest sale is coming, so get fired up for intense savings store-wide this Saturday only. Plus, save an extra 10% before noon. Now that's hot. It's all inside, and the heat is on. JCPenney. With an ordinary ultrathin, LEAF is a four-letter word. Ooh. Stay Free introduces the only ultrathin with four-wall protection against leaks. Four letters meet four walls. Bye, New Stay Free Ultra Sense. Is your love life a struggle? The power of the tarot can help. Call me for your free reading now. He can't call you that easily, can he? No. Yeah, you know why? Why? Because he's in lockdown. Yes. Uh -huh, okay. He's not a lying person, you understand? Yes. Deception is something that you have had more than your share of, correct? You are so right. How did you know that? Who is that girlfriend of yours that has that purple weave in her hair? That's my best friend. How's your back, honey? Oh, oh, wow. I pulled a muscle uh -huh. recently. You have heart disease is something that is a, a straight uh, line through your family. I'm feeling palpitations from you on a regular basis, correct? Yeah, I'm being tested for stuff right now. Right before the wedding took place, you accused him of sleeping with somebody. You got that right. Call me for your free reading now. Call 1-800-974-2210. Did you know that mosquitoes are attracted to dark clothing? Did you know that a poison ivy rash can appear just minutes after contact? That's why there's Cortisone 10 Plus with vitamins A and E plus aloe. Among these, it's the only one with the medicine doctors recommend most to stop itch and help heal. Trust the power of Cortisone 10 Plus. What are you itching for? Also, try Cortisone 10 Quick Shot Spray. No itch relief goes on faster. Mom, it's cartoon stuff for little kids. Kids, they can't wait to grow up. Looks like he's ready for this. Kids love new Chef Boyardee Mini Bites ravioli and meatballs. Sized just right, but loaded with big ravioli taste. Mini Bites from Chef Boyardee. I don't have to vacuum to freshen my carpet. I've got a great partner. Carpet fresh, no vacuum. Foam it on. Odors are gone. The carpet's freshened with no vacuuming. That's fresh. Carpet fresh, no vacuum. Freshens without vacuuming. Chandra Levy's parents in a rare interview talk about their daughter tomorrow on The Early Show. David Letterman. One man. One mission. Must entertain America. Each and every night on The Late Show. What does it take to penetrate that thick skull of yours? Would you go? I told you last night I don't want to have anything to do with you. Well, you don't want to stay in this cell, Carl. She wouldn't be here right now if you stayed out of her life. Aren't those the keys to her cell in your belt there, Jack? Well, unlike you, Montgomery, I realize I'm bound by the law. Feel good, Jack, spouting platitudes when the woman you're supposed to love is locked in a cage? He can't do anything, Craig. It's his job to... He would lose his job. Well, I think you're worth that, don't you? Sorry I'm late. Ah! Here is the paperwork releasing Carly into my custody pending the arraignment. Jack, you believe me when I tell you that I did not call Cass or Craig here. Oh, 
That's, that's beautiful. Your timing is perfect, as usual. Well, I promised I'd get you out. I did. I wish I could have spared you staying overnight in the Craig Montgomery Memorial cell. Oh, why? It was such fun. I just love a girl with a good tattoo, or five. <laughs> Will I be arraigned today? We'll take care of it before himself and I leave for court. Okay. Well, just so you know, I mean, I know you know, but I didn't have anything to do with what happened with Barbara. That's why we plead not guilty. Hopefully the judge will set a reasonable bail. Well, what's reasonable? Whatever it is, I'll take care of it, Carly. Oh, you. You just love thinking of yourself as some kind of Sir Lancelot or something, don't you? Yeah. Well, except Lady Guinevere didn't always scream bloody murder every time he came to her rescue. You've thought of everything, haven't you, Craig? Except a way to convince Jack that my rescuer and I are not having an affair. Sierra, you're like a schoolgirl with a crush. I wonder why Craig and Cass are so late. Craig's probably on the lam. Oh, oh. He's gonna go another round because we can sell tickets. You got a captive audience here. Hello? Very funny, dear. Well, it's true. Jessica. Um, I love your suit. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you. This is a question for the news desk. Do you think that you're going to be able to wrap up? Is the trial going to conclude this afternoon? Well, the defense is only calling two witnesses, Sierra and Craig, so we'll probably be starting closing arguments this afternoon. Oh, only two witnesses. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Hi, Max. It's me. Yes, I'm at the courthouse. Look, I... Of course I saw the stringer you sent, but we need somebody more creative, more experienced, because Montgomery is going to take the stand, and I bet you he'll hang himself for sure. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I'll try that. Hey! Hey, Rose! Uh, you here for the knockout round, Yeah, huh? I came for my mother. I'd love to be able to tell her that there's light at the end of this tunnel, you know, so... I picked up the Times today. I saw Carly Tenney was arrested. I thought, what do you know? Our justice system might work after all. Yeah, the wheels of justice are grinding slowly, though, Rose. Hey, at least they're grinding. Where I come from, Vinnie DeLauro, that's the only guy you need for justice. A bath, a confession, and a long walk on a short pier. So Carly getting arrested, that's good, right? Yeah, the best. I, I bet the only accessory she thought she was going to be was on Craig's arm when they took over your mother's company. Yeah, when those two are finally put behind bars, you can give yourself a big pat on the back. Me? Nah, I did nothing. <laughs> nothing, huh? How many hours of security footage did you have to go through before you finally found that picture that linked Craig and Carly? Wow. Huh? It was the only solid evidence the DA had. Oh, anything to stop that creep from ruining more people's lives? What's a few extra minutes, right? <laughs> I want to do something to repay you, Rose. Oh, don't say the P-A-Y word with me. I'm allergic. No, no <laughs> I really am grateful. Oh, really? Well, you did mention something about taking me out for my birthday. Eh, if you're still game. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You should do that more often. What? Smile. It lights up your face and your eyes. Well, maybe we'll have reason to do that very soon. I better get back to Lucinda and Sierra before they clock each other. What, division in the ranks? Oh, are you kidding me? Sierra's testifying on Craig's behalf today. I mean, it sticks in Lucinda's craw like a hunk of dry gnocchi. Yeah, it kills me, too. I can't see how any woman could possibly defend that monster after seeing what he did to my mother. Actually, Dr. Michaels, we only want to ask her about another patient who was here with her during part of her stay. His name is Owen Dever. Would be highly irregular to discuss a patient with anyone but his treatment staff. Oh, well, then maybe we can talk to Julie. We can ask her ourselves. I'm not about to force a patient to accept visitors that she doesn't want. Dr. Michaels, Julie and I are very, very close. Her husband, Jack, and I are... We work together. He's my best friend. I stood up for them at their wedding. She's spoken of you very fondly, but that doesn't change anything. Most days, Julie is refusing to see... Even her closest friends. Okay. Okay, fine. So maybe you can tell us something about Owen Dever. All I can tell you is that he improved significantly while he was here, and then he was released from the unit. Well, how about a local address? I don't know if we have one, and if we do, I don't know if I can give it to you. Okay. All right, wait, wait, wait. You go, just listen up. Some nutcase with a gut full of Thorazine tried to separate my head from the rest of my body. Does this bother you in any way? You can try the business office. Maybe they'll give you a forwarding address. Thank you. Excuse me. 
Excuse me. Oof. Remind me to hire her next time I need a secret kept. More time in the morning? Do you go through all this hair damaging aggravation every day? Stop! Introducing Rap Snap and Go, a truly new invention in curling hair. Rap Snap and Go will give you the greatest lift and volume you've ever had, even with thin, flat hair, and it works on short hair too. The patented interlocking technology lifts hair from the root and gives you an even curl from the root all the way to the ends. They just snap together. No more pins poking your head. You can turn this into this. This, this into this. Finally, body and lift. You can even sleep in these soft, comfortable foam rollers. They're like an extra pillow, and you'll even have time for your morning workout. I get to sleep an extra hour in the morning, and the curl stays until I wash it out. They're also perfect to use in the morning. With a little mousse, roll your hair, finish getting ready, and in under 10 minutes, you'll be ready to go. You can even wear them to hold your hair up during the day. Then simply unroll for an evening of curls. Is your morning a fight? Not anymore. <laughs> They're so fun and they don't hurt. So versatile, you can have soft, traditional curls or tight, fuller curls, depending on how tight or loose you roll your hair around the roller. They're 100% machine washable and so lightweight, they travel great. With an iron, this would have taken hours. So if you're not a morning person or are just plain tired of all the fuss, order Wrap Snap and Go and get the easiest, most comfortable lift, volume, and curl you've ever experienced or your money back. As a free gift, you'll also get this zippered cosmetic carrying case for easy storage. But wait, call in the next 10 minutes and we'll also include four extra rollers as a special TV bonus. Have your credit card ready and call 1-800-459-9900 to order Ramp Snap and Go rollers for only $19.95 plus shipping and handling. Order now and receive four extra rollers and a zippered carry case as a special bonus. Or send check or money order to the address on your screen. Call 1-800-459-9900. You must be 18 or older to call. I work in a hospital, and that's where I discovered Wound Wash Saline Spray. Thoroughly cleans cuts and scrapes without hurting, costs pennies per use, and it's always sterile. Wound wash saline spray. It shall be spark time. Our Australian Mick Burke eats a Reese's peanut butter cup. G'day. I eat a little bit now. I'll come back for the rest later. There's no wrong way Beauty. to eat a Reese's. I think when I left here for court yesterday, I actually thought I'd have a home to come back to. Go figure. Look, I know my life is a train wreck, but please, no rubbernecking, all right? Just go. You're going to be late for your own trial. I'm not leaving till I'm sure you're all right. Look, I'm fine. The first thing I'm going to do is take a week-long shower and then crawl under the covers for another week. What? What, are you standing there waiting for me to thank you for posting bail for me? Well, thank you. Now go. Come to court with me today. Why? Will there be somebody there who hasn't had the thrill yet of seeing me publicly humiliated? That shoe, please. Carly, I know what I've done to your life. Oh, you do, do you? Yes, I do. I see the rift between you and Jack. I know how you're hurting. But still, the smartest thing for you to do today would be to walk into that courtroom with your head up. Let the world know you've got nothing to be ashamed of, nothing to hide. Come on, how can I do that? Nobody believes me, Craig, not even Jack. Well, it's the truth, isn't it? Well, I, I don't think the truth is going to be enough to stop Jessica Griffin from nailing us to matching crosses. I know it's hard to take advice from someone you're mad at. The moment I take advice from you will be the same moment I book myself into a padded room next to Julia. Yeah, well, okay. I take the stand today, you know. Well, good luck. I'm going to deny the allegations Jessica tried to sell the jury about us. Huh? I will explain the pictures, how I took you off guard, how you bawled me out and stomped on my foot. Those are just words, Craig. 
And pictures with a thousand of them. I will make sure the jury knows that we were never like that. Okay? So why don't you take a five-minute version of that week-long shower and just come with me, okay? No. No, because with my luck, I would slip and fall in the bathroom tile, and you'd have to come into my rescue, and the paparazzi would sneak out of the medicine cabinet and start snapping pictures. Let's just let the, the bail you posted for me be the last thing I ever take from you. Okay? Good. <laughs> yeah, you know, you should go, because you're going to make them think that you could care less whether or not they throw you in the clink. Sure I can't change your mind? Yes, I'm sure. Good luck. This is... This is it for us. For us, huh? Whatever us was. For breakfast, we'll call it lunch. Thanks, thank you. But I, I thought you might have to work today, moving bikes from shore to shore or something. It's the early bird that gets Lucinda to give him the rest of the day off. <laughs> e. I thought we'd grab our stuff and make that cottage look like our own. Now? No time like the present. Well, I, um, I, I thought I'd go to court this afternoon. <clears throat> for another dose of pain, Jen? <laughs> and the day your mom testified, you were completely wrecked. Yeah, well, my mom didn't want to see me because she was embarrassed about what Craig did to her, and she feels like some sort of monster. And today, the real monster is taking the stand, and I cannot wait to watch him fry. If he fries, my... my mom is taking the stand as a character witness. How could she? I know, I know. I just... I want this whole thing to be over with. What if it never is over? I don't want to spend the rest of my life Paying for my father's mistakes. You know, I, I don't blame you for what your dad did. I just want to be with you, Jen. In that cottage without the rest of the world telling us what to do or who we are. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what. Go to the courthouse with me this afternoon. And we'll come back here, pack up my stuff, and move in together tonight. You mean that? You got yourself a deal? <laughs> he spoke to Dr. Michaels. About what? I, I couldn't find out. Here's Dr. Michaels now, Julia. <laughs> oh, were you looking for me? Uh, she had some questions for you, doctor. Oh, thank you, Annette. Did something happen since our last session? I've, I've been scared. Why? Is there something that you're keeping from me? I don't understand. I, I, I know that Hal came here. I know he talked to you. Was it about Barbara? Because you know, Dr. Michaels, Barbara is one of my very oh, best well, friends. Hal and and he did come here, but he did not have news about Barbara. He came to ask questions about Owen. Owen? But, but he went home to be with his family m months ago. No, he's still in Oakdale, apparently. And in trouble with the police? Owen. He, he can barely talk. Well, that's not true, Julia. You know that. Owen speaks very well for himself now. In fact, that could possibly be because of your patience and encouragement. But if he's in trouble... Do you know something about Owen? Something that could help out? Why would I? Indeed. Well, I, I really assume it's a formality. Police ask questions, that's what they do. Doesn't mean that Owen is in any kind of trouble. 
Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Annette. Julia seems very agitated today. I want you to keep an eye on her and let me know if she seems despondent or upset. Let me know if there's any change at all in her behavior. Okay. We have to go with the plan. Everything's falling apart. Minded consumer. Oh, I've taken up the natural life. I'm new Cottonelle toilet paper with aloe and E. I've got a silky, gentle touch you can actually feel. <laughs> so the next time nature calls, try new gentle me. I'll make you cheerier with a gentle touch on your posterior. Sincerely, new Cottonelle with aloe and E. among the first to see the magical world of Harry Potter. Just journey to Sears for Harry Potter t-shirts, watches and more. And enter for a chance to win an exclusive VIP family trip for four to the Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone world premiere in London. You'll even get an authentic movie poster with every Harry Potter purchase. But this sweepstakes ends soon, so hurry into Sears for your chance to be part of the magic. Feeling pushed to the limit? Mom, my art project's due tomorrow. I brought home a ton of work. Can you drop me off at Amy's? We still have to paint the guest room tonight. So what's for dinner? Pull it all together with Manwich. Oh, look what you have. I wish I had one. Well, take this one. Excuse me? I got 11 more at home. One in every collar. Are you sure your husband won't mind? They're not even here. The Pilot G2. Smooth gel ink. 12 vibrant colors, a comfortable rubber grip. I keep one in every room in case I lose one. Oh, my goodness. The G2 from Pilot. Think in ink. The pen. I'm talking about the pen. I thought you were talking about the baby. Yeah, we're making you lose the baby. Look what Conair does for hair. Takes it from curly to straight with straight style. She Miss gives you super straight, shiny hair. Get straight styles from Conair. Or straighten and shine with shiny straight. Also from Conair. Dogs love home cooking, or new pedigree little champions. Gently prepared, then sealed in our revolutionary flavor lock pouch. For the home cooked taste, dogs love. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing there? I'll be right there. Steve and Kelly wanted to adopt, they went online for help. We were called with a birth mom that was interested in us. Instead, they found heartache. The baby's not coming home. Promises were made to dozens of couples, but there were no babies. Probably the coolest scam I have come across. 48 hours tonight. He was the best player to never hit the big time. I'm going to qualify for the U.S. Open. Kevin Costner stars. Tin Cup. CBS Sunday. Got online, she pulled the plug. You learned that he was using your computer mm -hmm. to develop an online affair with another woman. Right. Judge Judy. Today at 4 on CBS 2. The rise of a wine pioneer, the early years. Before giving birth to the Sutter Home Vineyards, Mario and Mary Trincaro gave birth to Bob, who showed early signs of being a prodigy. As Bob matured, so did his penchant for winemaking evidence of which could be seen in his fascination with fertilizer. Needless to say, Bob developed somewhat of a signature odor. Later in life, Bob's peers would have to endure quite a different smell, the sweet smell of success. Sutter Home, taste the commitment. She can't vote him off. He's old. 
we're kind of like not seeing eye to eye. He can't throw her off. Are you complaining about me? No, not at all. You can't turn them off. You may think I'm a prissy little label whore. Do you have a Prada helmet for her, please? Dipmates, two strangers stuck together for three days, two nights, one date, no escape. This isn't how it ends. Yeah, baby, Shipmates. Beginning August 27th at 3 on CBS2. Watch as Hollywood Square salutes San Francisco. Ellen DeGeneres returns to prime time in The Ellen Show, coming to CBS Friday. Do you have any idea where Craig is? Well, he hasn't skipped town, if that's what you're worried about. I was just with him. Well, it can't be good to be late to your own trial. Tell me about it. The jury will think he's indifferent, which will only add to the wonderful portrait that the prosecution has already painted. In the case of the People versus Craig Montgomery, the Honorable Judge Randall Franklin presiding. Be seated. Mr. Winthrop, it looks as if your client has chosen not to appear today. Apologize for the delay, Your Honor. Sorry. Great way to kick off for the defense. No, no, no. I hope I don't have to remind you of the gravity of the charges you face, Mr. Montgomery. Your Honor, my client is very well aware of the import of the charges against him, but was unavoidably detained and begs the court's pardon. We are ready to proceed. Very well, Mr. Winthrop. Call your first witness. I call Sierra Montgomery to the stand. Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, to so help you guide? I do. Please be seated and state your name for the record. Sierra Esteban Montgomery. You are Craig Montgomery's prior wife, is that correct? Yes, I am. Can you tell us a little about your marriage, Sierra? I'm sorry, may I call you Sierra? That's fine. Craig and I were married until our firstborn son was nearly 20. A long time. So you know him well? Very. And during all of those years, was Craig ever violent? Never. In all of those years, did he ever give you cause to fear for your welfare or for the welfare of your children? Absolutely not. Craig is a good father and he loves his children very much. Why did you break up? We grew apart. Over the years, our lives and careers took different paths. Did Craig have much money when you first married? No, he didn't. But he thrived on working. But he was never able to make as much money as I had. So it was your money that supported the family? For the most part. That's one of the things that drew us apart. Naturally, being the greater money earner, you made a generous financial settlement with Craig at the time of the divorce? No. No, there was no settlement. You mean Craig left the marriage without asking you for a penny? He insisted. In fact, while we were married, he hardly touched my money at all. Craig is a proud man for whom in financial independence is very important. Thank you, Sierra. Uh, no further questions, Your Honor. Ms. Montgomery. Was the defendant the trustee of your son's trust fund? Yes. Did he ever borrow against it? Yes, he did. Do you know how much? It was several million, if I'm not mistaken. Well, that explains why he didn't need a financial settlement from you when he had already pilfered his son's trust fund. Objection. I wasn't aware we'd begun closing statements. Yeah, we haven't. Please confine your cross to questions, Ms. Griffin. I'll rephrase. Ms. Montgomery, did your ex-husband need money from you since he had already taken large sums from his son? Objection calls for speculation. I'll allow it. Answer the question, Ms. Montgomery. He didn't take the money. He borrowed against the trust, which is perfectly legal and really not that unusual. Apparently, a business obligation came due, which necessitated Craig using the money. But he repaid every penny, and on time, even though the date had been manipulated by the executor. 
thank you for clarifying that for us. Do you recall the date the money was repaid? July 11th of this year. Interesting. July 11th. Barbara Ryan lay in a coma on July 11th, only a few short weeks after marrying Craig Montgomery. Where is she? Who? Who? Carly's not here, Molly. Oh, great. So she's already at the arraignment. That's great. Look, Jack, I have the bail money right here. So you just Somebody beat you to it. Craig and his attorney they rode in on the white horses. They took care of bail. You know she should never have been arrested in the first place, Jack. I can't believe you let that happen. I didn't bring the charges, Molly. That was a district attorney. You know what? I really don't need this from you right now. Well, excuse me for being a little upset, you know? But my cousin's being accused, being being called a, an accessory to attempted murder, Jack. And you know how ridiculous that is, you of all people. It doesn't matter what I believe. Well, it does to Carly. Yeah, well, she and I have been through this already. Oh, and let me guess. You shrugged and you told her she's on her own now. Is that, is that right? I can't believe that you're going to let some picture, some stupid picture that was dredged up and brought into court, blind you to everything that's real. No, not everything. She's made some questionable choices, wouldn't you say? I know she's hard to understand sometimes, Jack. Look, I love her to death. She's my cousin, and she defies me sometimes, too. Especially when it comes to Craig Montgomery, like when she turned over that insurance money to him. I was completely blown away. Well, but wait a minute, back up. Right what, what, what insurance money? I didn't... I don't... I assumed that you knew. Knew what? Spill it, Molly. Um, <clears throat> I don't really know the details. I just know that she was beneficiary to some insurance policy that was set up by Winston. So? So there was this syndicate in Hong Kong, and they were, they were leaning on Craig. They were really muscling him. They were threatening his daughter's life, Jack, if he didn't turn over some big sum of money. So Margot went to Carly, and she begged her to help him out. Margot went to Carly. Margot Hughes. Yeah. She was pretty desperate, Jack. Her niece's life was at stake, OK? And whatever she said worked, because Carly ended up turning over the insurance money to Craig. How much? A million dollars. A million dollars? Yeah. Craig had a claim on the money, too. So? Carly felt that it was partly his. Right, right. And the insurance money, the insurance policy that Winston Lowe set up was that horse. He took it out on that horse, and that was money that was Craig's money. Jack, Carly could have done anything with this money, but she chose to save a little girl's life. Right. So Craig would be forever in her debt. Maybe she didn't tell you because, I don't know, because she didn't want to flaunt it. That's weak, Molly. Okay. All right. No, I don't know why she didn't tell you, but let's just not turn this into some sinister thing. Well, Carly has been strapped for money her entire life. A million dollar insurance settlement, that's a once in a lifetime thing. And then, hallelujah, finally, the answers to her prayers falls in her lap. And what does she do with it? She gives it away to Craig. Women don't just hand over a million dollars to Jack, guys they feel nothing I... for. Please, Molly, don't say another thing. You found out what you needed to find out. Carly's not here, but she is safe. I'm sorry. I just need some time to deal with this whole thing. Jack. Jack, is Margo around? She's in court, pal. All right, listen, Jack, I know you don't want to hear it, but I think Emily and I have made some real headway on finding this guy who planted the bomb. I don't believe this. I don't believe you're still pushing this, Hal! Come on, Jack. We could really use some department you just listen here. to what we've got, Jack? We've got an address on this subject. Now, if you can just bring him in I'm on your attention. Uh. Well, so much for departmental backup. Yeah, looks like we're on our own, Hal. Yeah. Just you, me, and our friendly neighborhood psycho. Come on. Every specially marked Tic Tac pack is worth a point. No! That's my rack. Towards all new incredible stuff. My scooter! Just peel the points and send them in. That's my digital camera. Get Tic Tacs and get all new incredible stuff. Hi, I'm Wilford Brimley and I've had diabetes for about 20 years. I stay active and I feel pretty good most of the time. 
See, I do a few simple things now. I'm not perfect, but I try and watch my diet and exercise, and I check my blood sugar. And I get all my diabetic testing supplies from Liberty Medical. If you're 65 or over and on Medicare, call Liberty, they can help you live a better life. Hundreds of thousands of people trust Liberty. They're the nation's leader in home delivery of diabetic testing supplies. Bring everything you need right to your door. Fill out your insurance forms, even bill Medicare or your insurance company, and you pay no money up front. Oh, and they carry all the brands. If you have diabetes, you check your blood sugar and you check it off, and there's no reason not to. And call Liberty. They can help you live a better life. Why don't you see going, Mom? Your mom hasn't studied in a long time. Mom, do you want anything? Not now, honey. Okay. It's more than just that great peanut taste. Choosing Jif is a small, simple way of letting someone know you care. I got in case you needed a break or something. You made that for me. Moms like you choose Jif. There's a way to remove dust and not just move it around. Swiffer cloths have lift and lock pockets to help attract and trap dust and dirt with the swipe of a hand. The Swiffer system cleans even hard to reach places. And when you're done, just throw the dust away. When Swiffer's the one, consider it done. These babies are not models. They were conceived using the Clear Plan Easy Fertility Monitor. It unmistakably tells you more fertile days each cycle than any leading method, so you have the best chance to get pregnant. Clear Plan, clear results. The DeLucas have a funny way of showing they care. But the one constant is love. To family. That's life, CBS Friday. Coming to a TV set near you, a fresh new comedy. You saw that in a bag of chips. You know how I love chips. A big budget extravaganza. What do you need? $16 million. I don't have that. With a cast of several. Your genie's replacement, thank God. I'm genie. <laughs> hey, you nut. The Ellen Show, CBS Friday this fall. Oh, endeavor. Hey, you put oh, the dead making all this racket. Who are you? What do you want? Um... Well, we're friends of Owen's, yeah. Mr. Devers. Owen ain't got no friends. All right, the truth is I'm with the Oakdale PD. I really need to uh, search Mr. Devers' apartment. I need to ask him a few questions. Well, that's funny. When my husband was living, he always had to show a badge or a warrant before a sweep. Mike Stans, captain. You know him? Mike Stan... Yeah, uh, I know Mike You know what? Oh, excuse me, this is my fault. I... I should never have talked to my friend into, into making up this idiotic story. The truth of the matter is, Owen owes me some money, and and so we, we came here to, you know, make him pay up. We right. don't embarrass him or anything, just... Oh, so you're telling me he's wanted instead. You two are fishier than a can of sardines. You and this bottle blonde bimbo whoa, better whoa, 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 get whoa, whoa, out of the hallway before I call bimbo. the real cops. Now get out. Let's go. Get out. Get out. Let's go. Get out. Let's go. Your smartest move would be to walk into that courtroom today with your head up. Show everybody you have nothing to hide, nothing to be ashamed of. How can I? Nobody believes that. Not even Jack. It's the truth. Isn't it, Carl? Even Craig can have a rare moment of wisdom. During your marriage to Craig Montgomery, was he a faithful husband? Ah! <laughs> Outbursts will not be tolerated in my courtroom. The witness will please answer the question. No, he was not faithful. Yet you remained married to him in spite of his infidelities? We have two children together and their welfare was very important to us. Did you love your husband? Yes, I did. 
Therefore, you forgave him his indiscretions. Yes. And aren't you here today because in spite of everything he's put you through, you're still in Craig Montgomery's thrall, just like Barbara Ryan was. Objection, Your Honor. Counsel is drawing extremely creative conclusions. And if she's trying to lead the witness by insulting her yes, with her sardonic... Yes, thank you, Mr. Winthrop. I get the picture. Thank you, sir. Sustained. Aren't you here today because you're still in love with Craig Montgomery? Objection. Withdrawn. Nothing further. You may step down. Your Honor, the defense calls Craig Montgomery to the stand. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. State your name for the record. Craig Montgomery. <sighs> Mr. Montgomery. Where were you at the time of your wife Barbara's accident? I was on my way to the airport. I was leaving town. You're aware of how the prosecution portrays that action? Yeah, I didn't know Barbara had been hurt. Why were you leaving town then? I had business. It, it, it's, it's something of a long story. Uh, Barbara had learned that I had used a considerable amount of her company's money. For investments? Yes, very successful investments. I quadrupled her corporate net worth. Seeing her bottom line go from red to black must have pleased her. No, she refused to look at those numbers. She was too angry at me for uh, using the money without her uh, permission. You'd made her very wealthy, and yet, rather than being eternally grateful to you, she became angry with you. That's an odd response, don't you think? Objection. The witness is not a psychologist. Sustain. What did Barbara do when... She learned how much money you'd borrowed from her. Used. Used. She threatened to turn me into the police unless I paid it back immediately. Why didn't you simply return the money? Be because there was nothing to return. It was always there. It was BRO money, a BRO investment, and therefore BRO holding. So why did you leave town? Well, Barbara wouldn't hear any of that. She, she said we were over, and she was calling the police, and I knew that if she did that, I'd have some problems, and I had business to attend to. You've seen the photographs that the district attorney has entered into evidence. Is that correct, the ones of you kissing Carly Tenney? Yes, but they're misleading. How? What do they really show? Well, they show a man who's about to marry one woman kissing another. Are you saying that you have no relationship with Carly Tenney? Not the kind the DA asserts. We're friends, but those photos show the one and only time I ever kissed Carly Denny. Is there anything those photos don't show? Well, they don't show when she pulled away and stomped on my foot. Well, let's make this very, very clear. Has there ever been any kind of romantic or sexual relationship between you and Carly Tenney? No. No, that would be impossible. Why impossible? Well, because as long as I've known Carly, she's always been in love with one man. She made that clear to you? Repeatedly. Did she say who that man is? Jack Snyder. Have you been sexually faithful to Barbara during your marriage? Yes, I was. Did you have anything to do with the explosion that nearly killed Barbara Ryan? No, I did not. Thank you, Mr. Montgomery. I know that this has been traumatic for you, too. No further questions, Your Honor. Please sit down, Mr. Montgomery. I have a few questions for you. Introducing the 10-minute breakthrough. Get beautiful, gentle, long-lasting hair color in just 10 minutes with Revlon's high-dimension permanent hair color. It'll take you longer to get dressed. High dimension hair color, only from Revlon.
Sub-Zero flavor inside. Delicious cold minty shell outside. The gum that puts your breath on ice for a long time. Dentine ice. Nothing's colder than ice. Lysol presents Facts of Life. Fact. To a child, any food can be fast food. Fact. Cats don't come with breaks. Fact. No other wipe kills germs faster than Lysol sanitizing wipes. They kill 99.9% .9 of germs in seconds and are so convenient, they're even flushable. Fact. When training kids, it's hit or miss. Oops. Life demands Lysol. That's a fact. It's astonishing. It's breathtaking. It's the revolutionary GE Profile Arctica. The first refrigerator that can thaw a filet in half the time. It can even chill wine in minutes. Help keep lettuce naturally crisp and make extra ice extra fast. All while using up to 40% less energy, which makes your kitchen the one place it really belongs. The amazing GE Profile Arctica. The refrigerator rethought, reinvented, revolutionized. Here's our jingle for goldfish. We wrote a song for goldfish. A wholesome snack that smiles back until you bite their heads off. Now see the fish is swimming. Oh, look, the pretzel's winning. Didn't that make you feel good about goldfish? You know they're made with real cheese. These baked and not fried fishies. A snack that smiles back at goldfish. And for taste buds that are braver, we blasted them with flavor. Try flavor blasted goldfish. One of these women uses Suave Professionals Awapui Shampoo. The other pays more for Paul Mitchell Awapui. Both have hair that's shiny and soft. So who is who? If you can't tell, why should we? Suave, don't you look smart? The JCPenney hottest sale is coming. So get fired up for intense savings store-wide this Saturday only. Plus, save an extra 10% before noon. Now that's hot. It's all inside, and the heat is on. JCPenney. Krista and Monica are nominated for eviction, but neither one of them is going quietly. It's no holes bar. Don't miss the fireworks on Big Brother Live CBS Tonight. September 5th, the race begins. But who will win? The separated parents? Hurry up! The engaged couple? A simple task. The Amazing Race premieres CBS September 5th. When and where did you first meet Carly Tenney? A little over a year ago in Hong Kong. How did you meet? I'd been doing business with her husband, a man named Winston Lowe. Did she tell you about her marriage to Mr. Lowe? Yes, she said she wasn't really a wife. In fact, she told you she was being held a virtual prisoner there. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. Is it true that Winston Lowe died not long after you and Miss Tenney met? Yeah, he evidently had a heart And there condition. was some question regarding the manner of his death. Well, I never had any question. Well, perhaps you didn't, but the Hong Kong authorities certainly did. Wasn't there some kind of official investigation? There was an inquiry, but no charges were and ever And you spoke to the authorities? Yes. Regarding Miss Tenney? Why? Yes. Miss Tenney and Mr. Lowe weren't on the best of terms. She was living in a foreign country against her will, as you pointed out. She was afraid there'd be repercussions after his death. So you intervened on, on behalf of Miss Tenney? and helped clear her of any suspicions concerning the manner of her husband's death? Could say that, but... And she then in turn returned the favor a year later by helping you plot the death of your wife, Barbara Ryan. <laughs> Objection! <laughs> Objection! Order! So how'd you know Miss Congeniality was gonna leave so soon? Did you see her face? Mm. And her husband, Mike Stans, dropped dead of a pickled liver. I knew there mm. was a bar runner in the near future. I'm pretty smart, you know that? Yeah, well, smart enough, I hope, not to get busted for breaking and... Hurry up, hurry up. ...in turn. Busted Mr. Dever's motive, huh? He wasn't out to get Barbara after all. No. He was after the guy she was meeting. 
It's Jack. competition. Kill the husband and keep the girlfriend. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. <gasps> Oh, endeavor, we finally meet. Come on, Parker. Where'd you hide my keys this time?